Hello, I'm Nicholas Lilo, District Forester for the Pinchot Forest District with the Pennsylvania Bureau of Forestry, and we're here at the Seven Tubs Forest Recreation Area. Uh, the Seven Tubs is a natural geologic formation here along Wheelbarrow Run, running into Laurel Run, uh, that is part of the uh, Pennsylvania Bureau of Forestry State Forest System. The Seven Tubs were created during the uh, melting of the glaciers about five, ten thousand years ago, and that melting water was very fast, moved very fast, and it cut into the, the rock, the softer rock, and created these whirlpool type formations, the tubs. And there was a series of seven of these interconnected by the stream and waterfalls, leading up maybe about a quarter mile. And there you intersect the railroad bed and then eventually Route 115. So it's, it's not a big area, but it's a very unique area because of these geologic formations. So the stream that uh, formed the seven tubs is now known locally as Wheelbarrow Run. You can see it coming down through here, and it intersects right where we're standing with Laurel Run, which flows then down into Wilkesbury itself and eventually into the Susquehanna River. Uh, both streams are uh, considered wild trout streams by the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. The area is open to fishing. Mainly people come here just to relax, recreate, they sit by the stream, they hike the trail system here. We have about a two mile trail system that goes around the seven tubs and the forested area. Uh, they walk down the old uh, Bear Creek Boulevard Road, which we're currently in the process of improving with some of our partnerships in the area. So they come here just to get out of the city and enjoy the forest environment. The they terrain, I would call it moderate terrain as far as a forest environment. You have, you have to be very careful along the tubs with the, with the smooth, flat rocks. When they get wet, which they do because of the waterfalls and the forest environment, they'll get slippery. So you have to use extreme care when hiking around the falls. There is a trail system around the falls. Because of use over the years, it has a lot of impact and erosion from human use. And we're working on a plan to, work, to mitigate and stabilize some of those sites and put a trail in place. And when that trail's in place, we're gonna ask the public to stay on the trail, to protect this environment, to protect these hemlock. You can see the hemlock are stressed. A lot of this is due to uh, hemlock, hemlock woolly adelgid and due to the impact. You can see the erosion if you look up the hill here that exposing the roots of those hemlock trees. So the trees are stressed and if we lose them here, you're gonna lose this shaded environment that surrounds the tubs. So we're working on a plan to mitigate that erosion and to protect the hemlock from the woolly adelgid. This is a good area for our region, being we're uh, basically an urban area with the Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, Wyoming Valley area. It's close. We're only a few miles outside of the Wilkes-Barre city limits, so it's close for people to get out of the city, out of the urban area, to a forested environment. You're along the streams here with Laurel Run and Wheelbarrow Run. It's cool, it's shaded. You're in a, a forest canopy here, so a lot of people come here during the summer months for relief from the inner city atmosphere. Seven Tubs, you can find out on our Bureau of Forestry website through contacting the Forest District Office, the Pinchot Forest District Office. It's, it's well known in our local region. We're at the Cabin Armory and Training Center in Plains. David Kaplan now joins us. And Dave, you're going to give us a tour a little bit later on. But first, how about an overview of your place? We are the premier indoor gun range in northeastern Pennsylvania. We have 19 lanes, 9 on the first floor with handicap accessible, 10 on the second floor. We have a gunsmith, a gun shop. We're soon to have a coffee shop and restaurant in the works right now. And we have, you can shoot up to 25 yards with electronic ta targets. We have training, on staff training safety uh, range officers on site at all times. I mean, when you see it, you're gonna be impressed. It's uh, quite the operation we got going here. Why is this the premier place to come? Well, a lot of people can't find places to go shoot. Mm -hmm. So it's tough to go shoot outdoors in the winter time. It's too cold. Sometimes in the summer, it's too hot. So there's really no place indoors to come, you know, to shoot. Mm -hmm. So we had this idea, my partner Diane and John and I had this idea about putting a gun range up. So we, we have this building here, 20,000 square feet. We convert it into a, a, a shooting range. It's almost like a country club atmosphere, yeah, it's like but, but it's not a country club. Yeah, you could buy memberships because yeah. that's kind of, our, kind of our country club theme yes. we're going with. You could buy a, a premier, premier membership or a relative basic membership. It has all sorts of benefits, you know, all, the, all year long shooting. It's pretty nice. It's, I mean, uh, when, you, when we give you the tour, you'll be quite impressed. This is our gun shop. We have uh, quite a variety of uh, pistols and rifles, a ton of accessories. We have little gun safes, we have uh, cleaning aids, everything. 
We have also a great selection of eyewear. We have ear protection, plenty of ammo. We have a great selection of ammo. We have some of the best prices in the area on ammo. We do, we do deal in some used guns. We take trade-ins. We carry also a, a lot of other semi-automatics that we have. We have a great rifle selection, shotgun selection, plenty of pistols, Glock, SIG, H&K, CZ, Walters. We carry Savage rifles. We carry Henry's, Henry rifles. And we have a gunsmith on site at all times, Steve. Uh, we went with the cabin look, you know, the, the wood, the wood walls, the outside, if you come in the entrance, you got the log cabin look in the, in the entrance with the wagon wheel with the lights on it. As you see the signs with the target that say cabin on it, we went, we're going with the whole rustic cabin look. Boy, Dave, a great facility here. Where are you guys located? How can we find out about you? We're on 10 Pethick Drive. It's right behind Isabella's, the restaurant Isabella's on 315, between the Woodlands and the Casino. We're right behind there. As soon as you hit Isabella's, turn in by the Dunkin' Donuts, we're right in the back there. Next on the Great Outdoors, we'll take our dirt bikes around Lost Trails.